This weapon is the most dangerous space weapon in the world. Russia and China have been waging a silent war against U.S. satellites while pushing the boundaries of military technology with their hypersonic weapons. The emergence of the Kingsol hypersonic missile and the Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, or FOBs, has sent shockwaves through the defense community, raising concerns about the United States' ability to counter these unprecedented threats. As the stakes grow higher, the U.S. response takes shape, unveiling a groundbreaking initiative aimed at tracking and neutralizing these elusive and dangerous weapons. The race for supremacy in space has entered a new phase, while cutting-edge satellites become the sentinels guarding against an unforeseen assault from the heavens. The King's Hall hypersonic missile was first used in battle when Russia fired it into Ukraine. With a speed five times out of sound, the King's Hall is very challenging to intercept and defend against. Lacking the ability to defend against hypersonic weapons, Ukraine was helpless against this catastrophic assault. The FOBs of China poses an even larger threat. This nuclear-capable missile travels to low Earth orbit before deorbiting and slamming into its target at unmatched speeds. The FOBs presents a significant threat to established missile defense systems because of its increased agility and increased range. It is an elusive and lethal weapon due to its unpredictable nature and limited window for reaction. The United States has started a mission to create a comprehensive defense plan after realizing the urgent necessity to combat these changing threats. The use of a fleet of satellites built to track hypersonic weapons is at the forefront of this effort. Leading companies L3 Harris Technologies and Northrop Grumman have been given contracts for $1.3 billion by the U.S. Space Defense Agency to create 28 small satellites as part of the National Defense Space Architecture. The satellite fleet will play a significant role in providing early missile warning and tracking capabilities when it's launched in three years. The fleet will provide worldwide coverage and real-time monitoring since it is made up of two layers, the tracking layer and the transit layer. While the tracking layer enables the identification and monitoring of sophisticated missile threats, including hypersonic systems, the transport layer will deliver reliable communication and connectivity to military platforms around the world. The fleet will have a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit that will have at least two satellites given 95% of the planet at all times, enabling continuous surveillance and quick reaction times. There are substantial technical obstacles to overcome in the creation of this satellite fleet. The satellites will be dispersed across many dimensional planes to achieve thorough coverage, ensuring an omnipresent eye in the sky. To overcome these obstacles and guarantee the successful launch and operation of the satellite fleet, collaboration is required between the SDA, L3 Harris Technologies, Northrop Grumman, and other well-known corporations. The tracking system will be more effective and the U.S. will be able to respond to hypersonic threats more quickly thanks to the cooperation and experience of these organizations. The U.S. commitment to maintaining the vanguard of space-based defense capabilities is shown by the billions of dollars invested in the satellite fleet. The deployment of sophisticated satellites outfitted with cutting-edge technology marks a fundamental change in the country's strategy for missile defense. The United States hopes to make its military satellites less vulnerable to interference and attacks by dispersing the services across a large network of satellites, effectively neutralizing the effect of Russia's attempts to hack U.S. satellites. The development of sophisticated systems by Russia and China, as well as the rise of anti-satellite technology, underline the significance of fending off the expanding threat in space. Strong security measures are essential in light of reports that Russia is building a laser system at the Krona space station and possible Chinese attempts to attack SpaceX's Starlink constellation. The U.S. reaction is to protect important satellite infrastructure and communication systems that are essential to military operations, in addition to addressing the problems caused by hypersonic weapons. The development and use of hypersonic missiles by Russia and China present substantial problems for the United States as the space domain assumes a more important role in military operations. In response, the U.S. is increasing its missile defense capabilities by purchasing a fleet of satellites to track hypersonic threats. The nation's dedication to safeguarding its space assets and guaranteeing the security of its military activities is reflected in the production of these satellites, which were granted through signed contracts. The tracking system is an essential step in addressing the changing threat picture and defending national security interests as the space arms race intensifies.